and we thought that was the right uh, way to go for, for our fans. Back and playing again. Anyone wanting to watch the Rough Riders in person will soon need to show proof of COVID-19 vaccination or a negative test result within 48 hours of the game. The changes won't be in place for the Rough Riders annual Labor Day Classic, but will take effect September 17th. The move comes as cases spike across Saskatchewan. More than 800 new infections have been reported in the past three days. And more than 100 people are in hospital due to COVID. The vast majority of them are unvaccinated. One thing we've learned throughout this pandemic is it's, it's constantly changing and, and you need to be adaptable. And the Rough Riders and Edmonton Elks both announced the changes Monday. They're the last two CFL teams to adapt vaccine mandates. The teams faced growing calls from fans and health experts to adopt the vaccine passports. I'm very excited about that, so much so I'm wearing my rider green today. It means that I might be able to go to a game later this year and more importantly, the Saskatchewan public as well as the riders, players and staff will be safer. Camillo and others say they'd like to see the Saskatchewan government announce a provincial passport yeah. system, just like BC, Manitoba, Quebec and elsewhere. I think like we saw with the riders, it's inevitable because it is the common sense decision because cases are going up as we all see. We're at 20 times the number of cases we had at this point last August. As for the provincial government, Premier Scott Moe said today he supports the Rough Riders decision, but Moe stopped short of implementing any vaccine passports for the general population. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.